Hello everyone and welcome to another fantasy match preview. I hope you all are doing well and in this preview we are going to be covering the Namibia versus UAE game and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to cover his thoughts on this specific game and how he feels about Namibia and if UAE can actually cause another upset in this tournament. Yes, I think Namibia began really well. Uh, slightly disappointed that they did not adapt in the second game. Uh, hmm. I felt you have to use your batting resources much better. Uh, you had, you cannot have Smith and Vijay just play less than two hours. It's it's criminal. Hmm. They are uh, too talented, uh, and it it did cause them the game. We saw how uh, Netherlands then paced their chase well. So very interested to see whether they can do this now. The advantage for them is they've beaten Sri Lanka, so hmm. the Sri Lanka game is important for them as well for the way it is going to pan out. And uh, let's see how they plan. Once they know what is to be done, if at all they can uh, really get up and going. For UAE, I think they've shown glimpse. And uh, let's see and let's hope that they can build on that. Yes, totally. And I've like we've informed you quite a few times, this is going to be the second last day on the 20th of the depositors leaderboard. So ensure that you make your best deposit so that you can use it in the games ahead. And you also buy for some of these great prizes. So ensure that you make that deposit on the fan to play app exclusively right away. Yep. Because Gadi Bulari is so better. If you have a deposit, you can warm up. So, when you have a main leader, you can get a little bit of a Yes, and like you can see the main leaderboard here. And before we discuss the base team for this specific game, we've already discussed the ground preview in some detail in the first preview of the day. So we don't want to bore you with that again. But any additional thoughts on the ground, Nikhil Bhai, or you feel like we have it all covered in the first preview? Yeah, I think those who've been regular will definitely know what we are going to say. But let me let me still say that... Uh, we are right when we select more bowlers and all-rounders because that's how surfaces have been. Uh, of uh, Jokes aside, it, will, it can anyways change. But yeah, hmm. it's very important to find out how you are thinking about the game because the surfaces have been easier to bat first. Very good to see that after a lot of chasing sides winning. So hmm. you can back your teams accordingly because chasing is harder. Average score hasn't been even above 160. So that's how teams have played so far. Yes, totally. And if you want a little bit of more details on the on this ground review, just go watch the previous preview before that. So you have some incentive to do that too. So yes, we'll look at our team for this specific game. First up in the keeping section, we have gone with Braditya Arvin, obviously because of the fact that Zane Green is batting pretty low, not getting much. Or if Vise and Smith are not getting too much opportunity, then what can we say about Green? And then we have gone with two batters who I won't necessarily call as batters because Erasmus can bowl too. And Aryan Lakra also bowled quite a few overs in the last game. Yeah. And see, here we've not taken Mohamed Vaseen uh, for the pure... Is it that we are backing Namibia's bowlers to do the job up yes. top? But if you think that no, Mohamed Vaseen will do it, feel free to drop Lakra also if you want for him. Aryan uh, Kurene has a point that he batted at 3. I don't know if he will bat or not there. अच्छा स्पॉट है उनके लिए और क्योंकि इनफ राइट हैंडेड बैटर्स हैं नमीबिया में भी तो ही कुड बोल अ हैंडी सेट ऑफ ओवर्स देयर एज वेल तो वो लॉजिक है इन्हें लेने का बट यस यू कैन प्लीज गो एंड टेक मोहम्मद वसीम इफ यू फील हिम कम यस टोटली एंड देन वी हैव आवर फेवरेट सेक्शन द ऑलराउंडर्स एंड हियर वी हैव पैक्ड इट विद फ्राइलिंक स्मिथ वीसा एंड अयान खान now, as Freiling and we say our captain and vice captain purely based on form, there's not too much of doubt there. And we feel like, like we mentioned, Ayan Khan, just like Aryan, can bowl some crucial overs. And again, he's going to be important with the bat in the middle order, too. So we're trying to take people who are going to get as much opportunity as that will be the key to get you points. Yep. The only way you can possibly change this is if you feel UA will take more wickets. Uh, hmm like they did against Sri Lanka. So we still have that covered. If you see in the bowling section, we have Kartik Mayapan, we've taken Zahur Khan as well. So we have kept batting light in the UAE, because batting is light heavy. So their strength is their bowling. So no jokes hmm. there. That's what it is. And because we have Ben Chikongo and Bernard Spons, so we have hmm. literally taken six bowlers for them, uh, because Erasmus can also bowl. So, uh, 
काफी अच्छी बॉलिंग आप ऑपरेटिव्स हमने ले ली हैं तो फिर बैटर को लेंगे तो वो दिल हिट ही चला रहा हो सो या दैट्स द बॉलिंग सेक्शन इस वेल यहाँ पे वी नॉट वी ओनली नॉट टेकन जूनेट सिद्धि की है सो इफ यू फील फॉर्स बॉलिंग में यू वांट टू ड्रॉप जायन और आयन खान फॉर हिम प्लीज गो एंड डू दैट Yep, and one thought process for me here is Ben Shikongo. If you want to take a chance, if he's bowling second, because I feel like they might use Smith Frylink in more crucial sectors of the game. So if you want to take a chance, and if you want the spinners, because like we saw, Karthik Mayapan came out of order and struck quite a few times against Sri Lanka in a row. So if you don't want to take that chance, if you feel like Namibia might struggle a bit against the spin and yet want both the death bowlers. Then Shikongo or Scalds, one of the two, would be the best person that you could sacrifice in that situation. Yes. The options are in this game. I think you have to look at the conditions of the team because it may be possible to get rain. So, if it will be in a short-term game, then the rules change. And in that scenario, always back the guys who are bowling key overs because then you would not want to take somebody who has a risk and has a game in the party. Hmm. Yes, totally. So yes, this is the final setup of the team for us. One keeper, two batters, four all-rounders, and four bowlers. And now we have the one GL pick that Nikhil Bai will tell you who you feel, who he feels rather is going to make big impact in this one. So who is that player for you? Well, the two of them have bat kara. I will bat karu na. We call off the Ethan sir. Please, a good thirty or a good two wickets. Take it. So GLs will come. But jokes aside, I think he's a class act. Uh, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, he hasn't had uh, the impact that I felt he would. But again, I think bats higher up could potentially bowl a lot as well. So uh, because we saw you wait struggle a bit against spin, which is fair as well. Uh, good bowling, good bowling troubles everybody. So if mm-hmm. Eden can bowl a good spell, he could be the difference. Yes, that's a pretty fair call, and I'm going to go very left field in this one. My one pick for this game is Dela Cock. I feel like he might be able to hit a few big shots up front, and maybe there's a uh, 30, 35 quick runs with a lot of boundaries for you there. So yes, I would not say take this chance in small leagues, but in grand leagues and in rotation, I feel is a worthy option, especially because you see the batting section is pretty dry anyway. So. There's a good chance that he can still figure in the dream team with a 25-30 run knock. Very smart choice. So yes, that sums up our preview for this specific game. We hope you enjoyed both the previews for today, and we hope that you have a great game. Ensure that you tell us your dream team captain in the comment section right away, and smash the like button because that's the good luck for us. And we wish you all the good luck too. Have a great game. Have a good game, guys. Thanks for tuning in.